Hey guys, it's Shane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'm actually pretty hyped. I got some exciting news about potential rumors or leaks that are coming out about Battlefield 2018, Battlefield 5, because the announcement is in just three days now at the time of this recording on May 23rd, and we're going to find out what the setting is. And as a result, since the game's nearing the announcement, it got its SR rating. Um, and SR ratings usually just sort of tell the game. It's so obviously rated M for mature, like most sh shooting games, but they do give details for why it's rated like that in these shootings. And in this sh uh, rating, um, it said something interesting. So before I get into this video, just like I say, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll have all the up to date news for you guys about Battlefield 2018 on this channel. And I'll probably start doing some PSN gift card giveaways at the end of the month. So if you aren't subscribed, you won't get access to those. So don't forget to do that down below. But the ESSER rating for this mentioned drug use. And while you guys might think, oh, there's drug use in most shooters, they talk about this all the time, we haven't seen this in a Battlefield game much. Um, you've seen this in Call of Duty and stuff like that because they tend to have a more sort of like laid back um, interaction with the characters. Um, but they talked about drug use, and this doesn't include alcohol if they don't include that, or even cigarettes. Um, this means like real drug use. So what some people were talking about on Twitter is this might point towards a Cold War um, setting with like LSD um, or stuff like that. Also, drugs wouldn't count as gas because it, again, didn't mention it in Battlefield 1. So this really opens up some other things because if it's World War II, we most likely wouldn't see that. So a lot of people are thinking it might be a Cold War setting. Um, and stuff like this that they also mentioned is they've talked about unexpected theaters of war. Um, so people are like, okay, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's just sort of marketing talk. But with all this stuff coming out, people are thinking the unexpected theaters of war part might mean that it's not World War II. Um, because World War II is obviously the most expected theater of war. Um, people have been doing World War II since the beginning of uh, first person shooters and it would be the most expected theater of war so the fact that they specifically mention it unexpected theaters of war and the fact that they use theaters as plural could mean that it's a big war like the Cold War. Um, they could also do something with alternate history as well because it's unexpected and lastly they mentioned untold stories. Um, world War II is the most told story of any war in history um, so looking at maybe different wars um, around sort of the mid to late 19th, 20th century um, seems more and more likely as these days go on now again I am not saying that anything's 100% sure I'm just saying that we are getting more and more information about what this game could be and I'm just trying to bring this information to you guys so I know that I've said in the past that I do trust almighty Dak and his fact that he said World War II um, and that's just simply because he leaked Battlefield 1 so perfectly however we don't know if his sources are correct or stuff like that. We all, None of us can know that until the reveal and until then we're going to take as much inf other information we can get as possible. So again the ESSER rating says that there's drug use, most likely not in World War II. Um, unexpected theaters of war and untold stories all point to a game that isn't necessarily World War II. Now this could point towards the Korean War because that's a very untold story of war. Um, Vietnam is relatively like frequent as well, um, but again, the Korean War is unfrequent, or if they were to just pick something that spanned the entire Cold War, that would be really interesting as well. Um, tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section, what do you think this means for this setting of the game? Untold stories, unexpected theaters of war, if you guys know anything about drug use in certain wars and stuff like that, um, or like LSD manipulation by the CIA during the Cold War. Talk about that down below in the comment section. Uh, but again, we only got three more days, boys. We're coming up on it. I'm going to have all the latest information for you guys coming out on this channel. So again, don't forget to subscribe down below. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.